I think this can totally uh, represent um, Taiwanese worldview. So the game is detention, Fan Xiao. It's funny, Fan Xiao doesn't mean detention at all, anyway. Uh, detention mean? Detention is like when you get in trouble at school and your teacher school. makes you stay in the classroom instead of go out to play or go home. One of my friends is a professor at Wenzhou University. She had a student who was doing a project on whether or not video games would be effective for helping students learn about history, like the history of Taiwan, um, like during the White Terror. So she got me to play this game for her student and then write up a report of what I learned about Taiwan's history and Taiwan's culture based on the game. My simple because many players recommend and they say, this is so good. And uh, it, it talks about a part of Taiwan, Taiwanese history, so I want to to know more. And yeah. uh, I want to try by myself how good is it. I, I, I got it because I started watching this Netflix series, and then I realized the series was based on the game. So I'm like, what? There's a game? So scared. <laughs> Especially at first time, at first time, uh, caught by the ghost. Ghost. Mm. <laughs> and and uh, yeah. yeah, wow. And my, the, my heart almost yeah, stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the music, right? The music yeah. as well. And and the first, the first time you're like, ah. But then yeah. every time it's the same, you know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it still freaks you out. <laughs> yeah, I think they did a good job with the atmosphere. I do not like horror at all. Um, that was a struggle for me to get through. Yeah. So they, they did a good job making it creepy. Yeah. Just once they, once they, the, the main character, Carl, uh, the uh, classmate, sword, and the bloody... Yep. Uh, <laughs> That's when I almost stopped playing the game and messaged the girl and was like, I can't do this. Like, I just, <laughs> like it's too much. In a movie, you just sit and watch and it just happens. Whereas this, you have to keep going. And so yeah. every time something freaky happened, I'm like, oh, I'll just stop playing now. I'll come back to it later. <laughs> yeah, especially I, with, with the music and play, mm. wow, more creepy. It's a 2D platform style. And I like how when you walked across, you'd end up like trees would block your view. It made you feel even like it was more suspenseful. And then you, you play this game, you cannot play without music. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, music is a, a clue. Yeah, yeah. To it's, it's, it's keep the story going. Yeah. 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 Um, the the two demons that escort people to the afterlife. Yeah. Like hey hey by ooh, hey by ooh, ooh something. Yeah, there we go. Um, things like that where I would have to look it up and be like, all right, what what are these? What's the lingered? What is what is this? What is that? But it piqued my interest enough to have to kind of go and find out for myself. So. Yeah. You know, when you save the game, it's got a circle and a cross, which is, you know, like circle meaning yes, cross meaning no. Whereas if it was like a Western kind of game, it would probably be a tick and a cross. I'd say just now, I, I liked for the cultural references um, because it was when I had only been in Taiwan <clears throat> for about a year at that point. So it was kind of cool to see things that I was just starting to learn about um, at that point. Like obviously you see the incense, you see the paper money that they burn um, to the to the gods as well. Um, 
there's like the Chiang Kai-shek um, memorial in the school, just like a lot of little things that were scattered throughout. Oh, and they toss the, there's a point in the game where you have to toss the, what do you call them? Oh, uh, the, um, what do they call it? The block like blocks. Blocks. Yeah. To get the response of like, yes, maybe not. The divining so blocks. Yes. The divination blocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Quite a few puzzles. Ah, uh, it's too hard for me. <laughs> Which ones? Which yes. ones did you find too Everyone. hard? Everyone. Oh, every... <laughs> yeah, I mean, as far as adventure games go, difficulty is probably about average. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just I mean... a little tedious with it kind of being point and click, walking yeah. back and forth. It felt a little slow at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I ended up looking up a walkthrough because I was just kind of fed up with the game, but I needed to finish it to uh, uh, finish this report for her. So I just kind of followed a text walkthrough for the rest of it. Like lengthwise, it was probably just right or maybe a little bit long. But by the end, you had enough, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was you don't what, about three hours. Yeah. I half half. Half enjoy, half not enjoy. Cause so too scared. You won't play the next game? They have another one. Yeah, I would. Oh you would? You would? Play it. I would. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ben would would you play it again or play the next game? No. Definitely not. Um, I'd probably regret playing it. It's a bit gruesome. The guy's like hung and you have to go and cut his throat and then the blood all pours out. That stuck with me. Like that is like ingrained in my mind. Like, oh. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure enjoy is the right word. <laughs> um, and I, I would, I don't think I'd play it again. I mean, there's not real much replayability value. And if the next game is similar to this one, I'm not sure I'm all that interested either. <laughs> I like the I like the parallels that you kind of saw. Like you, you saw Ray's broken family and her mother. Sorry, spoilers. Um, her mother turning her father into the government or to the officials um, because he was because of his infidelity. And then like Ray, the daughter that you play as, does like the same thing because she thinks the counselor guy is cheating on her with the female teacher. And she's like, all right, well, I'll turn you in for the book club. And then she ends up getting the guy killed. It is that because you report your family to government to punish. It's really, mm -hmm. really sad and really sharp. You betray, betray your family. Horrible thing is that in that time, government so powerful. It can kill you in any reason, even no reason. It let me kind of experience the the past Taiwan's Taiwan's history. I I like how we're introduced to that, and especially if you're if you're not Taiwanese, I think it really exposes the the emotional and psychological aspect of it, not just the factual. You know, this happened and that happened, but what it actually felt like for Taiwanese people, yeah. To someone who enjoys horror and is interested in Taiwanese culture, I'm like narrowing it down even more. <laughs> if you are both of those things, yes, you might enjoy the game. Beyond that, no, I wouldn't. Uh, for some people who, who who like to think and to to resolve the the the, the, the puzzles, the yeah. puzzles, yeah. I think it's 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 really good. Yeah, I think same. You you have to like puzzles and horror. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it'll just be it. It would yeah. be a, it would be detention for you. <laughs> <laughs> and for people who want to know, want to know Taiwanese um, worldview, I think this can totally uh, represent um, Taiwanese worldview. 